Are your intros boring? Are you struggling to get views on your videos like this guy? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to elevate your intro so good that viewers won't be able to look away. It's beautiful. So visually, your videos need to be eye-catching. So I'm gonna teach you guys a couple cool effect techniques that'll make your guys' intros way more eye-catching. The flicker effect. So to do these cool intros, you're gonna need two separate videos. The first thing is you wanna have your camera on a tripod just like this, stationary, not moving, and you don't wanna to touch the tripod. Next, the first shot is you want to have a clean palette. So pretty much I'm gonna be outside of the shot and it's just the background. The second shot is you want to stand back about three feet from where you're gonna to want to stand and you just simply just wanna walk up and then say your line. Now let's go put this in After Effects and add that sauce. <laughs> now the first step is we want to cut out our subject all the way up until we're talking. So I usually go a little bit past where I say the first word and I'll split it. We are going to cut out this layer. So we're gonna go up to the rotor brush and then double click on it. And then we're just gonna paint out our subject. To speed up this tutorial, I'm gonna skip this roto brushing part. But if you guys wanna learn and master rotoscoping, just watch this video right here and then come back to this video. Once you're done rotoscoping, you should have just the cutout and then it comes back to the normal video right here. The next thing we wanna do is we just want to find the clean palette video and then we want to grab it and then put it under our video. You can right click, go up to time and then freeze frame. So now it's just one frame. We're just gonna rename it to clean palette and we're gonna make it like a blue. For our cutout video, we're just gonna name it cutout just so we could stay organized. We'll make this one orange. Just for my case, I added a color correction. So I'm just gonna add the color correction to the clean palette so it all matches. Now to do this cool flicker effect, the first thing we want to add to the cutout is a fill. I'm just gonna grab the fill, put it on our cutout layer. This is where you can change it to any color, but for this case, we're gonna do white. Glow to this. And for me, I just use deep glow. Deep glow is the best glow ever. But if you guys don't have deep glow, you can just use the stock glow inside After Effects or just use your favorite glow that you always use. Now, to do the flicker effect, there's a couple ways of doing it. You can do the keyframing, the opacity. But for our case, you can just go every one second at the beginning to make it fast. So go every frame and then split it, just like how I'm doing. Don't know if this is the quickest way, but this is the way we're gonna do it. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. So we just go every other layer and delete them. Here, this is where we can go every per two frames. And then we're gonna want to have it fade in. So I think we're gonna go one more. And then we're just gonna delete this. And then at the end, we want it to fade back to the normal. We don't want it to have a hard cut. So what we're going to do is control D to duplicate it. And then on the bottom one, we're going to delete the fill and deep glow. So we just have the normal cutout. And then on the top one, we're just going to click T on our keyboard to open up opacity, put it to 100, and then go to the very end and put it to zero. You'll see that the clean palette and the actual video, because of the autofocus, it has a blur on the normal video. You can see the difference. So to smooth this out, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our normal video and put it below it. And then all we're going to do is just bring this layer all the way over like this. Click opacity. Click on the opacity, put it to 100 at the end and then put this to zero. And then on the clean palette, we're going to do pretty much the opposite of putting the opacity to 100 and then going to zero right here. Now it's time to add the sauce. The first sauce is we're just going to add some motion. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to add a adjustment layer and then we just want to add transform. We're just going to go to the very end and then we're going to put a keyframe for the scale and then we're going to change this to 175. Click U to open it up. Go to the very end, put this to 100. Next, we're just gonna highlight these, click F9 or Easy Ease. Go into our graph editor, and then we're on value graph, and then you can just copy the graph I'm making. It is a super simple graph. Next, we're gonna go over here and click on the motion blur. The next sauce is just adding a little bit more spice where every flicker, you can actually move it around. On like this one, you can actually grab it and move it over to there. Go to the next one, put it over here grab this one and like make it bigger, put it in the middle. You guys see what I'm doing. And what this does, it just adds a little bit more spice. It kind of adds like a cool like transition to it where I'm like teleporting. The next thing I would add is just an exposure flash. So if we add exposure to our adjustment layer, the stopwatch would be that. 
and then put it to 1.5 go back a couple frames put it to zero go ahead and put it to zero doing this cool effect technique inside your intros is just gonna make your intros that much more eye-catching especially when it's a flicker glow like this because when they're scrolling people have a 0.3 second retention rate guarantee you if you follow these steps you will have a very very flashy intro the next effect technique i'm gonna show you guys is this really insane the hyper warp effect these effects are going to elevate your videos to the moon if you guys want to save time and make these insane hyper warp effects then go ahead and check out my hyper warp preset pack down in the description on my store inside the pack you'll get 25 premium drag and drop presets and once you apply it you'll get this insane looking hyper warp effect you can add them to cutouts or to the background layer or even both to get a very unique looking intro. These are my go-to effects anytime I need to spice up my videos. Don't worry, if you need help, there is a 6 tutorial masterclass to help you dial in the effects like a pro. Also, it will add insane sauce to your videos, giving it a lot more energy and making your videos more eye-catchy. So if you guys are interested in elevating your videos and supporting me as a creator, go ahead and check out the link down in the description for more details. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys want to learn more insane editing sauce inside of After Effects, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button down below. Consider watching the video that's about to pop up on the screen if you guys want to learn more editing sauce. And on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.